Hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Gusto Reactions once again today on this very special edition. I've got Lala right here once again. And uh, there's been a whole lot right from the Grammy Awards till now. A lot of controversies. And one of those is that of one person that is really dear to my heart. Before we go to that particular one, Lala, I have a very simple question for you. Okay. Please, where is Tiwa Savage? Where is Tiwa Savage? Yeah. She's there now. She, I mean, we still have, she's still featured on a recent record. Okay. Black, BBC? Blackburn BBC. Okay. Which everyone says is a good, I mean, she, she had a good outing on there. So okay. she's there. She's, she's and there. by her standards, you think she's not quiet? Well, it depends. It depends on how you see it. She's been at it for years, and if she decides to take a break, it's all fine and good. But it's not like she's quiet, quiet. Uh, she's it's still under a year. She dropped an album, under two months that she dropped a video of the album, and then she has a, she featured on a song, featuring Black Bones. So. Okay, so she was already won the Grammys. Did she? Um, well, won the Grammys according to so many tweets. Tata, so a lot the, of people congratulating her. A lot of people congratulating her. Now, won a Grammys in quotes. Okay, according in to quotes, according to Twitter users. Tiwa Savage has been congratulated by even guys from Ghana. Kiddy Music said, shout out to the Queen Tiwa Savage for mm -hmm. your Grammy Awards win. We know about Whiskey's win. Yeah. We know about Burner Boy's win. Mm -hmm. Tiwa Savage win or um, purported win. Can you please explain what exactly is the controversy about? Okay, so from, from what I've been able to read up so far, um, when Whiskey won and Burner won, mm. uh, I don't know, there's always this battle of man versus woman on Twitter that goes mm -hmm. on. Someone comes up with a tweet and says, oh, Tiwa Savage got nominated too as well. And she, she, I mean, the way the guy put the tweet was, it looked like she had won mm -hmm. for a part of, for her part of, I mean, for her part of work she did on Coldplay's album. Okay. Not only her, there was Femi Kuti, there was uh, Made Kuti. Kuti. Yeah. I mean, they were part of a, uh, maybe perhaps a team of writers, I don't know, but they had something to do with Coldplay's album, which was nominated. So when that tweet came out, a lot of people thought she had won because of that tweet. And they just ran with it. You know, a lot of people were not actually watching. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you know, be something we, if the people, now all the people, we don't care about the data because mm -hmm. everything was streamed live on YouTube, yeah. they would watch it. So people ran with it from there. You know how all these news, and on a <laughs> night that two Nigerians have won, Mm. A Grammy. A lot of people are already, they're already making noise about it and shouting that, oh, this one is going to win, this one, this one is winning, that one has win. But the problem with it is, even if Coldplay had won, mm. she still wouldn't have been counted as to have won Why? a Grammy. Uh, like I explained on the earlier show, there's a 33%, um, what's it called? Like, you, you must have had 33% input. The, the overall input on the song or the, on a song mm. or on a project must be at least 33%. It's the same reason why St. John did not was not part of the winner of that music video category. But St. John actually wrote Brown Skin Girl. He's the original writer of Brown Skin Girl. Obviously, every other person had an input, but the original song winner is St. John. But he didn't, he wasn't part of the winners of that vid, uh, music video win. The reason being he wasn't, he didn't appear 32% in the video. In the video. And I actually it's cracking my head, like, why is this guy not tagged? I was wondering. Then I watched the video and it turns out. Uh, St. John wasn't actually as much. I wasn't, it wasn't even, I don't even think he even appeared. Maybe towards the end, during the little bit, maybe he was one on the right hand side, mm -hmm. but I struggled to find him in the video. Mm -hmm. So the reason why Blue Ivy, Whiskey, Beyonce. and Beyonce are the winners in that category is because they were the main characters in, in the, the video. video. And they're also, incidentally, the artists in the video. But so, a couple of tweets that I saw before this award came up at all was, oh, the news is, Whiskey has been nominated for the Grammys alongside Beyonce, Bonner Boy, this, and then Tiwa Savage has been nominated as well. Well, no, the thing is, if anyone's nominated, their data would be uh, be on the Grammy website. Yeah. All you have to do is just search their name and it'll tell you the nominees, how many times they've been nominated and how many times they have won. Before before this Grammy, the 63rd Grammy, if you had searched the Whiskey, 
-hmm. you'll see one nomination. Yeah, one nomination. If you search a burner boy, you'd see one nomi uh, yes. two nominations actually. Yes. Even with you see two, two nominations, nominations. That's two all nominations. that's been there. So if truly she had been nominated, you would see it there. What people thought it was was oh, by the time they saw that oh, it wasn't even she, they saw the writers. Because no, yeah, she she's part of the team that worked on Coldplay's album. Yeah. But is her input enough to Dima as being nominated? Grammys don't think so because if they did think so, it will be on the site. It will be on the website. So there's no evidence. Yes, we know she worked on the Coldplay album that was nominated, but it's not enough to tag her as being nominated for uh, for the Grammys. So that's that's what it is. Okay, it also showed when uh, you go to search the Grammy site, her name wasn't there as well. Yes, her name wasn't there. Okay, so how exactly or why exactly are people even people who should know better, congratulating Tiwa Savage. Well, it's not their job. It's not their job, per se. I, I wouldn't want to fault people like Don Jazzy and Co and Simi and these guys that came to congratulate Tiwa because they thought, oh, if it happened, then because all these streets, things like that can fly faster before you even debunk, debunk it into a lot of people. Even to this very moment, people still think Tiwa Savage has won. Mm -hmm. You know all these news. The first, the first instance, the first time the come out like this, people grab it as gold. And run with for it. You, for you, run with it. Before you, even if you debunk it, they may not even be interested in the debunking or they just run with the original. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what happened. And I don't blame the guys running with it. I blame the reputable media houses that, I mean, started with this news. Obviously you see tweets and everything, but what happened to fact checking? What happened to actually checking if indeed she win? But at the time that news came out, even that, category that the Coldplay album was nominated mm -hmm. in it had not been announced it has not been announced yet but then people already run with the story that Tiwa had won even the guys from Coldplay's camp it was a, uh, even debunked that they've not actually announced this that they are seeing tweets from Nigeria that they had won so 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 and so so, so <laughs> because of Tiwa Savage they've not nobody had that now i mean grammy had not announced but people are already gone with the news so they even debunked it for their mind, they were saying that now we think jinx, now we think jinx. But I think somewhere along the line, someone said it was like a glitch in the what's it called? Maybe in the uh, the, the creations, the montage, or anything. Like maybe it, it got stuck in a uh, close place name, and people thought yes, but they had not actually announced that yes, still are one. So the reputable media companies that ran with it did not f do their fact check before mm -hmm. running with it, and you know that these guys have a platform, and regardless if it's true or not as long as one particular media platform had, had gone with it mm. the rest would just go with it they would have thought oh perhaps these ones have done their fact check but they didn't okay so a lot of fans have been hailing Bonner boy and whiskey for their win and uh, anytime someone brings up tiwa what tiwa did not win and everything mm -hmm. and then there's been a lot of uh, um theory right now that there's actually an agenda against Tiwa Savage and the hate for women. Is it really true? No, it's not. Uh, we do know that Tiwa, perhaps, I don't know if she watched her album, but she did put her album a day before the deadline for the Grammys. Mm -hmm. So that means she actually had that in her sights as well. But she didn't get nominated and that's not down to Nigerian. So it can't be a case of Nigerian guys or women not uh, liking women. Because mm -hmm. the last category of this album was won by a female, Angeli Kijo. Uh, the South Africans who won, females did there, the choir group and the other guys, females mm -hmm. did there. So, so, yeah. uh -huh. so it's not, it wasn't a, it's not a case of, I mean, there's always this constant fight of uh, man versus woman on Twitter. So I'm not surprised mm -hmm. if people come up with that. And I mean, going by how the events that led to that day, I mean, before then there was issues with feminist school and the gender. Yeah, yeah. And there was, the, the, that whole thing just, the people just find a way to link it out. Yeah, so, because there was a lot of people saying, oh, you guys are regarding Bonaboy and Whiskey, but you guys, for you, you, are, you are failing to acknowledge that Tiwa Savage also won, you know, the Grammys and everything. And it was a case of, did she really win? She didn't win. So that person is wrong for that. It's just so sad that that kind of person won't come out and own up to the ever. Mm -hmm. They just be like, eh, they're still the, they're still the issue. <laughs> they, they still like guys more than females. Mm -hmm. We know that, yes, there's a bias. I won't say there's a bias, but then people seem to gravitate towards the male artist more mm -hmm. than the female artist. It's fact. Female artists have to work twice as hard. That's but it, it's not in Nigerian world. So there's not a case of people not regarding our efforts. Definitely. Yeah. Um, will Tiwa Savage respond to this? I don't think she needs to respond. I think what she should have done when people were tagging her that she won Grammys, I think she should have just come out and say, guys, I have not won any Grammy. I was not nominated, mm. but she kept quiet all along and made the whole thing drag. I mean, if she had come out to actually say, oh, I didn't, no. 
Mm -hmm. I know it's not it's not up to her, but she had the power to actually put out a statement as early as people had been tagging her, covertating her, that she won. She will have just come out and debunk it. It's simple. It takes what minutes and seconds to just say, "Hello, guys, I did not win a Grammy." So not debunking does she, does that mean that she actually won, or she thinks she she should have won or something? If she had been nominated, she would have been blowing her trumpet since now. It wouldn't. It would have been on the day of the award that people are getting to know that Tua Savage is nominated. Even, Whiskey did not blaze Trump? No, but everybody knows Whiskey was nominated for Bansky Girl yeah. as a main artist, as yeah. a lead artist to that, yeah. for that song. Yeah. But no, even if it's as a as part of the work as she's worked with, it's an achievement for her. She will have come out and say, oh, I've been nominated. But it's she doesn't song. see it as that. To this very, she didn't see it as that. So she will have saved everybody the whole misinformation that went, oh, it's not her fault anyway, but she could have just come out and said, guys, I did not win a Grammy. I was not nominated. I did have blah 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 to play with Coldplay, but it's not a nomination for me. Because if it was, I'm pretty sure she would have been sounding that trumpet since mm -hmm. they released the nomination list. Okay, well, it's a whole lot of controversy right now. Tiwa Savage, of course. Um, shout out to Whiskey and Burner. Shout out to Tiwa Savage as well. But um, according to many people, congratulating Tiwa Savage. Um, some are saying congrats to Tiwa Savage, while some are saying no. Tiwa Savage did not get nominated and, of course, did not win any Grammy. Now, let's have your thoughts on that particular one. Uh, what do you think about the whole Tiwa Savage Grammy controversy on a night when, you know, we should be celebrating these two guys, Whiskey and Burner. Mm. You know, of course, we still celebrate Tiwa Savage any day, any time. The fans have brought Tiwa Savage into the mix as well. But let us know, what do you think? Tiwa Savage truly win an award or you think nah you know work you know choke at all for this one let's have your thoughts and put everything down below we'll respond to every one of you thank you so much for always liking and sharing please continue to subscribe and of course tell your friends about what we do right here at Costo TV we love you I will see you on the next one peace for me